What's up, Cross the Federal Way? It is Friday, which means we've made it through yet another week in quarantine, and we're looking at the weekend when today is over. So, um, I know we're getting closer and closer to the gym finally being able to reopen. We don't know what that looks like yet. We also don't know the date. I have a sneaking suspicion we're probably only a couple weeks out from being able to open the doors. Um, obviously, we'll learn more today um, with Inslee's press conference at 2.30. So, if you're curious, I know they're boring. Um, but I try to watch as many of them as I can just to keep up to date on everything. So, and believe me, if I learn stuff, I will go straight on the box talk and we'll, we'll uh, um, be updating you guys on what that could look like and what that means for us as a gym. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about our workout today. So this week, we've already done some long time domain workouts. Obviously, Murph, whether you do half Murph, full Murph, whatever, um, that's a pretty nasty workout. We've done, I mean... We're going to do it when we're back together in July, but at the same time, that's a lot of volume, depending on how consistent we've been through this. Um, we might be pretty, pretty sore, especially if we did 100 pull-ups when we haven't really done a lot of pull-ups. So um, I'm sure people are still recovering from that and feeling, waiting for their bodies to feel back to normal. Uh, yesterday, we had that workout that ended with three minutes of max thrusters, so legs are probably pretty sore today. Um, so a lot of this is built off not really trying to cause you to squat or do anything like that. That way we can move and breathe and still get some active recovery for the muscles that are already sore. Now, when we look at what's on the board, today we have three rounds, four time of 15 power cleans. This is programmed with a barbell in mind, but you can totally use dumbbells. You can use kettlebells. You can use your trusty backpack if you're still using odd objects. Um, and uh, ideal weight. 135 pounds for guys, 95 pounds for women. So with that in mind, I know that if you're not using a barbell and you don't have the plates, that might be a difficult thing to simulate. If I'm doing um, dumbbells, these are probably gonna be, 50 pound dumbbells would probably be sufficient. Um, 35, so 50 for guys, 35 for gals. Um, and then if I'm using kettlebells, again, 53s can work. You can still do cleans and everything like that with two dumbbells. Um, do a quick little YouTube search on double, double dumbbell power cleans and you can see some, kind of some of the technique involved in that if you've never done that and you have a couple dumbbells. Um, but you can always do this with one as well. If you're using one implement, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, what I'm gonna recommend is that for the power cleans, you double the reps. So 15 on one side, 15 on the other. Yes, that's going to increase your time domain, that's okay. Uh, but we want to make sure that th there's balance involved in this workout instead of just total reps, especially if I've only got one 50-pound dumbbell. I want to make sure I'm getting that stimulus on both sides. Uh, so 15 power cleans, 135.95. The next thing on, on the list is a 50-meter front rack carry, which means whatever you're doing for your cleans, you are carrying that implement in that front rack position, and it's just a static hold while you carry for 50 meters. Um, this is going to be very taxing on your midline, which is then going to make the sit-ups a lot more challenging and vice versa. The sit-ups and the power cleans will make that front rack stability a whole lot harder. So don't underestimate the 50 meter front rack carry. It isn't that long of a distance, but when you stack it on top of what you're already doing with the power cleans and the sit-ups, that front rack carry gets really taxing and it's very difficult to breathe when you've got all that weight sitting in the frontal plane of your body. So. Three rounds of time. Again, 15 power cleans, 50 meter front rack carry, 25 sit-ups. Doing that three times, four times. Um, now let's talk a little bit about standards. Again, this is programmed with a barbell in mind and not all of us have a barbell, so I will be using a barbell in my demo today, but keep in mind dumbbells, kettlebells, all that stuff, those implements will absolutely work. Um, so let's talk about the power clean. Now, 135 pounds on the bar. The power clean starts on the ground. Obviously catch it in the front rack and stand it up. The big thing to think about with this is why this is programmed in this workout is we want a pulling motion. So we don't get a lot of pulling with the body weight stuff um, or as much as we normally would program on a regular basis. So it's an aggressive pull, aggressive open with the hips. So I really want you to think about jump and catch. Try to find that front rack position as fast as you can, get around the barbell and cycle your reps that way. So big jump and a catch for your power cleans. What I would recommend on this, try to think about stringing your reps together as long as you can. 
15 power cleans is not that much. I mean, 45 total is quite a bit. Um, even with 135 pounds or 95 pounds being a pretty standard weight that we see a lot. Um, but I would have a plan. Maybe I'm gonna go sets of, break it down to like six, five, and four for my set of 15 with a short rest in between. That way I'm not gonna totally blow everything up. My first set of 15 on my first round and then my rounds two and three turn into a shit show. So I want you guys to think about how you're gonna attack this. Singles are okay. But one of the things about always dropping is we don't work that eccentric phase of lowering the bar back to the ground. And that's a crucial thing for us to work as well. So when you wanna talk about getting better or faster or being able to increase your cycle rate, you need to be adapting to that eccentric phase of, the, of lowering the barbell to the ground, not just the up and catch. So um, I want you to think about that today as you look at those power cleans. So we're gonna finish up our set of 15 power cleans. Let's say that's my 15th rep. Then I have a 50 meter front rack carry where I'm just carrying the implement that I use for 50 meters. And while it seems deceptively easy, again, believe me, that cumulative effect of the other movements that we're using will make that challenging and breathing is very hard. So you'll go 50 meters, you'll come back, you drop your bar or your other implements, and then we go straight into our set of 25 sit-ups. And, uh, whether you have an ab mat or not, again, my favorite way to do sit-ups and in my, in my opinion, the best way to get the best range of motion, feet together, knees butterflied out. I'm gonna touch the floor with my hands, come all the way up, touch my toes, specifically my toes, not just the backs of my feet, specifically my toes to so my shoulders or over my hips, and then push myself back. And I'm gonna do 25 reps of sit-ups and then on to my next round. Uh, so, that is what we're getting ourselves into today, and uh, this one should be probably in the 10 to 15 minute time frame. Yes, there will be people that finish this under 10, it just depends on your proficiency as an athlete. Um, again, this is programmed with a barbell in mind, but again, dumbbells, kettlebells, anything like that, um, you can totally do this workout with those implements instead. So, that's what we're getting into. It's Friday, the weekend's almost here. Hopefully the weather holds up and we can get outside and do some awesome things um, now that some, some of that recreational stuff is back open again. Uh, anyway, this one should be a good time. Let's get after it.